The Plus series are a new generation of discrete controllers, available in three sizes. Model P6100, 1 16th din, 48 by 48 millimeters. Model P8100, 1 8th din, 48 millimeter wide by 96 millimeters high. And P4100, quarter din, 96 by 96 millimeters. The depth back of panel is 100 millimeters. The controllers accept standard instrument signals such as thermocouples, PT100 sensors, millivolts, linear signals such as 4 to 20 milliamps, and the output or outputs from the controllers are by plug in boards. Consequently, the base unit can be customised to each application as required. The Plus series have jumper list configuration. Many controllers use tiny link jumpers to set input and output types. With the Plus series there are no link jumpers. It is easy to set up and configure the Plus series controllers either from the front of panel display or via a PC. The setup is the same for the three sizes. The base unit can be customised to each application as required by fitting plug-in option boards. Relay, SSR boards, a linear output board either for linear control output or retransmission of the process variable or the set point. Here we have a digital input board allowing the set point to be set locally on the controller or remotely by a contact closure such as a switch. We have a remote set point board. With this feature the control set point can be set using a continuous linear DC voltage or a milliamp signal from an external device such as a PLC or another controller in a cascade application. A 24 volt transmitter power supply board is available to provide excitation of a sensor. Here we have an RS485 serial communications board. The boards are fitted into the base unit, remove it from the housing, and then just simply fit the boards. The boards that are fitted into the base unit are automatically detected. To configure the controller, press the up and the scroll keys together. Now we can have a look at the setup menu, configuration menu, information and tuning. Let's first of all look at configuration. The default code is 20. Input. This is where we can select the type of input required. Uh, here is set up for a J-type thermocouple in degrees centigrade. Other options are um, degrees F, K thermocouples, a wide range of standard thermocouple input signals. Here we've got PT100s. Where there's a dot between the, the, the display figures, it means that there is one decimal place. So here, for example, with our J-type thermocouple, there's one decimal uh, place in the range. The upper range is 537.7, and the lower range is minus 128.8. We can refine that range if, if required to make it more suitable for a speci your specific application. Those are just the default values of the maximum and minimum. We can change those. Moving on. Our control action. Um, 
Here it's set up as a single output controller, maybe just for a heating type of application. <coughs> if we had uh, a cooling circuit as well, we'd want a dual control output. Type of control action, either reverse or direct acting. Here's where we can have some alarms fitted and the alarm values. On this, in this instance, uh, on output 3, I've got uh, an alarm board fitted. Come out of that menu and let's have a look at the setup menu. Default code is 10. And this is where we can set our PID terms, the proportional band, integral, derivative terms, uh, set point, upper and lower limits. We can um, change the set point, maximum and minimum um, values. If, for example, we didn't want the operator to be able to move the set point over the complete range, we can put in upper and lower limits for the set point. Information. This gives us uh, details of the um, in here, the input for the controller. Universal input. Our output on output one is an SSR output. There's nothing fitted in option slot two, but we've got a relay board there in option slot three. Date of manufacture. In this case, it's uh, September. 2011 and the serial number of the controller. Tuning. This is where we can select the tuning. Pre-tune, self-tune. And back to operation. Connections are made to the controller by screw terminal connections at the back of the housing. There's also a termination diagram on the housing as well. The controller is available suitable for a power supply of 100 to 240 volts AC or 24 to 48 volts. AC or DC. For further details please go to our website www.wardindustries.co.uk